in today's video, we are going to be talking about the plants that I purchased in January. I know, it's like a week late, but it's never too late to talk about plants I bought. <laughs> so, I bought all these plants last month in January, throughout the month. There's some that I bought in the very beginning, and then some that I bought up to the last week of January. So, I'm going to be sharing that with you. So, if you're interested in that kind of video and you're curious to see what kind of plants I bought, go ahead and stay tuned and give this video a big like for me. And also, I'm very curious, let me know down in the comments below what plants that you bought last month because I would like to know. You never know. You might have bought a plant that I wish I bought. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to go ahead and get started. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and go in chronological order just for the sake of it why not so the first plant uh, hold on that I bought is this is a Baltic blue plant I actually took y'all along with me if y'all keep up with my videos I did take y'all along with me when I found this beauty oh my goodness it's doing really great in my home I actually just watered it for the first time yesterday so it's pretty awesome, um, or it's been doing awesome. I am adoring it every single day. I have it on that shelf right here. I don't know, it's usually right there. It's actually been putting out some new leaves. Um, I think, I mean, you could kind of tell like by the lighter foliage. So if it's lighter green, like this right here, um, it's the newer foliage that it's been putting out and then like a lot, like on the top right here, it's been putting out a lot of new babies. Um, but yeah, this plant, I got it at Home Depot. Uh, it was $19.98. I don't know if the price is still showing it's kind of scratched off but yeah it was the trending tropicals collection and it has a i have it in the same pot of course and because i love these pots i love white pots or any pots that have like decorative like engraving in it so i just kept it in its pot um when i brought it home of course i sprayed it with the neem oil i and then the next day I put it in the shower and then I let the water rinse it off just to like, you know, knock off any dust or any particles that can be blocking on the leaves and it's a good idea to do that every now and then. This is a random tip, but to put your plants in the shower or you could frequently mist them, it kind of helps the leaves to not like accumulate dust and it helps keep it nice and clear so that the plant can photosynthesize properly. Um, just, a, you know, a little tip, but yeah, to make sure that your leaves don't have any dust on them and they can reach for the sun. <laughs> but yeah, so this is the first plant that I actually bought is Baltic Blue and it's doing great. Okay. Ooh, calm down, boy. <laughs> it's kicking. <clears throat> All right, so the next plant that I bought is this tiny thing I don't know if you can even see it um but yeah I bought this variegated Hoya Hindu rope here it's doing great so far so good I didn't end up taking y'all along with me when I bought this plant um I bought it at a local nursery and it was a very spontaneous trip that day so I you know didn't film or anything but I did stumble upon this baby and it um was $14.99 I don't know if you can tell the price but yeah it was $14.99 it was in a pretty decent shape when I found it um I know it's kind of like a hit or miss whenever I stumble across these guys um they can look rough sometimes but this one actually looked really good it was like the fullest um pot at the nursery and it looks healthy from what I can tell it has two growth point or well yeah it has two growth points on it and it's vine or it's not vining yet but it's filled up the pot you know nicely so I'm looking forward to whenever it does start vining and um I do need to water it actually soon the leaves are looking a little bit puckered but um they that it would probably be the first time I watered it or no second time I think I watered it once already 
and this will be the second time i'll probably do that after the video but yeah i ended up picking up this cutie pie um i hope that it does well at my home i have it in a much better con um living conditions compared to my past <laughs> i have it up on the top shelf right there like literally right under the grill light so it's getting a lot of bright light of course not direct light because that light actually gets really hot but it's an amazing grow light. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Bloom Plus, they sent it to me. And I have a, a video about the light as well on my channel. So you might want to check it out if you're interested in a good grow light. Um, but it is really amazing. It kind of puts out a little bit of warmth. But it doesn't get like super hot. But anyways, it's a great grow light. I have it um, taking care of this baby, um, but I'm just giving you an idea of the conditions that this plant is living in. It's a little bit warm all the time, and when the light is on, and then it's getting bright and direct light, so that's the conditions I'm giving it, and I'm watering it only when the leaves are getting puckered, but I'm gonna be more on top of my game, because I think that's where I messed up on the last ones, where, because I had this plant before, and I think I let them dry out way too much oh my goodness but they dried out so bad that the leaves would just start falling off and the roots would just shrivel up because I wasn't giving it enough water so now I'm gonna be more on top of it um so far so good like I said I've already watered it once I usually do it whenever the leaves are getting a little bit wrinkly and I'm constantly checking on it as well like every day I make sure it's doing good um so I'm more on top of my game and i'm gonna make sure that this baby survives so yeah that was the second plant purchase of january okay now the third and final plant that i bought i went out with a bang y'all <laughs> my honey actually really really treated me on this plant he bought it for me and it's an amazing plant. It's been a wish list for so long and I'm so happy that I have it and it's so beautiful, so beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and show it to y'all now. <laughs> this, this is her, your royalty, so beautiful. Oh, I love it so much. Okay, so this is actually a philodendron melanochrysum. I got it at a pop-up shop that happened recently from Equigenera. Uh, if you're into plants and rare aeroids and tropicals uh, or like even like anther mostly anthurium and philodendron is what they focus on. Um, they have amazing, amazing plants and you don't have to, you know, I mean it's a splurge, don't get me wrong, but it's not as bad as other prices on other sites or from you know anywhere like locally for me but i ended up getting this baby oh my gosh it's a little bit thirsty i need to water it as well i just made a, a watering and take caring of plants and i'm already like having to do another one but um yeah this is her the i went out with the bang plant this is the beauty here in all its glory so gorgeous Oh my goodness, I love it so much. It has one, two, three, four, five leaves. And then there's also one on the way. I don't know if y'all can tell. Oh my goodness. Yep, there it is. So, it's doing really good. Um, I've had it, what, for like two weeks now? I think. Yeah, because it was, this happened like on the 24th or no, it was on the 28th of January. So this, I'm literally, like, I'm telling you, I waited. Like, this is a, this barely made it into January's plant haul. But, yeah, so this was, like, it was less than a week from the end of the month whenever I ended up going to that pop-up shop. And it was so fun. Oh, my goodness gracious. I wanted to record so bad, but I was so focused on just, like, getting there like as fast as I could and also getting the plant that I really wanted I was hoping that they would have one and they did they actually had like quite a few they probably had like five of them but yeah I ended up getting this one and I thought it was so beautiful it was in such good shape or it is in such good shape and the leaves are like really big I don't know if you can see but like this is the newest leaf here and 
it's like it could cover my face pretty much but yeah so I got this BB and it's been acclimating pretty well um, if you shop you know like over you know like overseas and you get plants in sphagnum moss this is how he usually brings his plants or the owner um i don't know if you can tell but yeah it was in sphagnum moss i well it was in a small bunch of sphagnum and it was just enough to cover the root the root ball and last time i went i went last year as well and i ended up getting two plants as well but yeah i ended up getting my philodendron Mame and then my philodendron melanin neuron plant from there as well and they came with the same situation um they came with like the sphagnum moss and honestly what i did and they're still alive they're actually right here i don't know if y'all could really tell but they're on this shelf right here and um they i did this and the whole year they did so beautifully they grew a bunch of leaves they're thriving and so I'm just gonna do the same thing I did with them with this one so pretty much all I did was get a four inch pot like this and it does um this one doesn't have drainage but um it, the other ones were in a similar situation so I'm this, I'm just telling you everything I did but um the this four inch pot no drainage I just put the plant in here and this is just a cash po, but um, yeah, so like I just put a bunch of more sphagnum moss in here on like just to fill the pot pretty much. And I just kept it in sphagnum moss like for a year and I water it, you know, of course, whenever you can tell like they're getting a little wrinkly or a little bit um, droopy, then you just, you know, give it a good watering and that's that's all I did and this just barely like I just potted them into actual soil and they're still doing really great super great but um I'm just gonna repeat repeat the process with this one keep it in the sphagnum moss for as long as I can and you know then later down the line I will pot it up in some soil that's all I did and I, of course I give it lots of humidity I have my humidifier over on the bottom and they all all my aeroids i always make sure they have a whole bunch of humidity um for like at least four hours a day it's off right now because i already did my four hours but yeah so that's pretty much all i do and of course surrounding it by other tropicals it helps a lot so that's my tip but yeah so those are all the plants that i purchased for the month of january i didn't do as bad as I thought I was gonna do because I could have bought like a whole bunch of more plants like not, I mean I couldn't have but like I would if I could <laughs> I should reword that but um yeah I wanted to uh oh <sighs> sorry guys I had a phone call from my family and yeah but anyways I think I was concluding the video anyways but yeah so that is like I said all the plants I bought I didn't do too bad I still splurged financially but I didn't get too much <laughs> I am actually really enjoying my shelves that I have now and the space it's just my little plant corner so I'm trying to stay in this realm and just keep the plants right here and not like take over the whole apartment <laughs> it's a lot of self-control because I easily could but I'm not I'm being very generous and yeah <laughs> anyways but yeah that's all that I bought for the month of January and we're in a new month so we'll see if I buy any more plants I will definitely keep y'all posted and of course take y'all along with me hopefully if I do make some plant purchases but yeah so that's gonna go ahead and conclude today's video thank you guys so so much for watching don't forget to leave a comment down below let me know what plants you bought in january because i just i'm very curious give this video a big like for me to support my channel and go ahead and subscribe while you're at it if you're into planty things and i'll see y'all in the next one Bye.